the bees in our wild garden, we found... The bees are divided in three main parts. The head that contains five eyes and two antenna, the thorax that contains six legs and two wings, and the abdomen. Honeybees. Okay, um, normal honeybees build their hives in trees, but beekeepers make bees build their homes inside boxes, like this one. It's impossible to know how many colonies have died recently. If you talk with other beekeepers, most of admit colonies have died off every winter. From 1971 to 2007, approximately half of the U.S. honeybees colonies have vanished. One of the phenomena happened in almost growing in California. The value in two 2006 was of 1.5 billion US dollars. In 2000, the value was of 15, US, 15 billion US dollars. The bees pollinate approximately one third of the US plant species. Many of the plants that are pollinated by bees can be pollinated by other insects but in small holdings. Many other species are actually more efficient at pollinating, but they can be utilized as easy as bees. Now I'm going to talk about what is happening to the bees. Modern pesticides may be a possible cause because they can kill honeybee colonies. What researchers say is that they are dying primarily because of stress. Stress means something different to a honeybee colony than to a human. If a colony is infected, it's experimented stress. Stress can cause behavioral changes and lead to immune system failure. This has existed back in 1890. Now I'm going to talk about false things about bees. What we're seeing is an old phenomenon. So if it happened in 1890 when there were no cell phones, inalambric things, etc., it doesn't have to do with anything right now. The story about cell phones was basically a misunderstood of what one pair of reporters read. The original research didn't involve cell phones, and the researchers never said that this was uh, about honeybee colonies. Even the thing that Einstein supposedly said about bees isn't proved yet, because this was discovered in 1994, and Albert Einstein was there at the time. Many people are really worrying about what is happening, but the situation hasn't yet risen to the level of catastrophe, except for the, some of the affected beekeepers. If the same thing keeps happening every winter for another decade or so, then we might really start worrying. But for now, it's just a problem with potentially severe economic impacts should it persist. <laughs> I find it weird, but this is another type of bee. You love grass? <laughs> it's very crazy. <laughs> Look, she's very nice. Her name is Ferret Bee. The new type of bee. It doesn't fly anymore, <laughs> but it's quite good. <laughs> it loves grass. There's a lot of grass. <laughs> Party time and not 
Be my baby 